Hey everyone, my name is Sam. Thanks for checking out this video. If you get to the end and liked it, then subscribe, bell notification, give the video a thumbs up. Ignore the breakouts on my face because it's been a horrible week for my skin. Um, and the fact that I have wet hair because I just have zero time management skills. So I wanted to do something kind of fun and honestly, I talk a lot about covers and books like in the physical sense, like the design and everything, a ton on my channel. And I thought it was about time that we do like a, I've done like cover downgrades, cover upgrades. I wanted to do like an actual like US versus UK cover battle off sort of thing. Hello puppy. Oh, he suddenly found attention. He barked and growled at me earlier when I tried to pick him up. Now I will in full frontal like admittance biases, what's the word I'm trying to say? Like up from bias, willing to admit my bias that on, for the most part, I very much generally enjoy UK covers more and I feel like the, a big thing for me is when I look at covers when there's like no design elements to it. Anything anything like Cure Cass's books I look at those cover and I'm like that is the laziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I, most of the time I can't like tell I won't pick those sorts of books up so I can't tell how similar they are but when I read books and I, and I look at like the UK cover they always take like little it, it seems almost like they tell the designer of the book to read the book and then they take it and then incorporate that into their cover design whereas the UK they just like tell a designer we need a book and this is the general premise and or we need a book cover and this is the premise and like make us something but we're not going to let you read the book so I will admit that and you can fully debate me in the comment section of any of these decisions so I'm going into this assuming that I'm going to pick the UK I went through and just picked a bunch of books that I knew like there's a different US versus UK cover and you know well battle off right 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 okay i'll be probably looking down a little bit at my like little little ipad to compare them but i thought we could do it this way that i'll have you know we'll put the us ones on this side and the uk ones on this side i guess so first off we're gonna do the extraordinaries by tj clune um thanks to my friend on instagram i didn't realize that i didn't know what the uk cover of this looked like i barely even saw the us cover anywhere so no surprise but there's a different cover so the us one i do actually own this by the way us is just the north american copies but remember america is like the only country so like we just put that with it's all american and um the uk one i actually don't hate either of these and i have like i said the north american copy and underneath the dust jacket there is elements to it um there's like the under dust jacket has like an uh, like a comic strip like fighting thing on the inside and the under dust jacket has a little bit of detailing on it but i think when i do look between them i think the first i haven't read the book yet but i think the us one seems more I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I like that the character looks like an actual person on the cover of the UK one, whereas like the other one just looks like a sketch design. Like I don't want, I don't want to say that it looks half finished because it doesn't, but I think I just prefer the UK design on both one, but like I will, no, I'll give the point to America on this one, which is not something I will do very often. I will give it to America because it's almost tied and I have a feeling the UK is going to win this one so we'll give America the benefit of the doubt which again don't do rarely don't do commonly I do rarely what is wrong with me I do not commonly yeah give America the benefit of anything it's hard to win Florida as a part of your country uh then I'm gonna sue Cinderella is dead and this is a book that I've been waiting for like three weeks for my library copy to get to me but this is another one where I'm like I can, I can see the perks of both of them. And we actually had the author in the TBR and Beyond group, and she did say, uh, I think she said she prefers the North American version, but she can see little details from the book on the cover of the UK version, which are not there for the US. Which again, makes me think that they actually have the cover design like artists read the book or a summary or a chunk, or at least like, Com communicate with authors somehow even though I know they don't do that based on what the authors have said like so I I will again give this one to the US because I like purple and I feel like purple is just I know Cinderella is like the dress is blue but for some reason I associate purple more with just a princess because probably because of the elements of like royalty and and power and everything with purple and purple is also my favorite color which actually my hair probably looks purple right now it's pink but yeah I think I'll give it to the the North American copy, but honestly, I don't hate either of them. I think this is one of those rare cases where you're like, I don't think you could be upset when you get either copy. Okay. The Mercies by Kieran Millwood Hargrave. I 
I, this is, I don't own the physical copy of the North American version, but I have read it. And having now read it, I, I didn't really watch for what the marketing was of this book. I just knew it was coming out because of the author. And I don't hate the North American copy. I feel like it's really cool that they have the hair, which looks like the waves, which really does play into the book because the whole village, essentially, all the men in the village basically die in a boating accident where... So the town is basically just mostly all women and they bring in this Scottish, it's set in Norway, um, they bring in this Scottish priest guy who's to try and like unpaganize all the witchy craft stuff going on there and you can't leave women alone, you know, what, what are they going to get up to? You know, they may wear pants. Um, and But having read it now, I one of the things I said after I, I read it was I kind of wish I had seen this all over the place pitched as like, forbidden sapphic romance versus a witch hunter which i i think i i think the the uk version of the cover does a really good job but i'm also of the the <laughs> i feel like the the mercies or the the uk version um looks more flowery because like just because there's little flowers and everything on it than the actual tone of the book but the uk but it has the two women on it kind of like in the middle where they're like kind of being pulled in different directions which I feel like does really align with it but it doesn't look witch huntery to me it's got like little elements at the top of those like flur with the boat and the whale and like the whatever but I feel like when I see them on a bookshelf I would probably not stop to look at the UK version whereas the US version I have literally stopped in a bookstore when I saw it and picked it up and like mm, do I want it and then just never ended up buying it I think my friend Mel was supposed to, he's getting me the UK copy but I, I I again I don't hate either of these but I feel like the UK one blends in a little bit on a bookshelf with a lot of other book covers whereas I think the the colors of the UK version and then like the hair and just the abruptness of the person on the picture uh, or on the cover it, it makes me want to say UK U, US version yeah I, I think I'll go with the North American version on this one Wow, three and zero oh for America. It's not, it's not something I expected. Hollow pox. <laughs> book three of the nevermore series um i actually own the us the uk and the german versions of the first two books in this series which are out um because i don't hate any of the covers i i saw a picture somewhere and i can never find the picture now i think it was a filipino version or maybe it was french or something like that but it had it was a picture of uh, like parisian french i mean and i have not been able to find that cover anywhere so if you see it let me know but it was it's, it's not the US, the UK, or the German version. Um, but there is the Holopox US, and then there is Holopox UK. Um, I so thoroughly, again, I don't hate any of the copies, but the UK versions are way better than the North American versions, A on the size alone, but they always just put more detail. The under dust jacket always, always, always has illustrations, and I saw that Jessica Townsend said they are going to have illustrations on those as well. So for the third book, I am trying to get the Owl Crate Junior edition. Um, we'll see if I can get it before it sells out because they're putting extra design elements on it. I just think the North American one is very um, boring when you look into the effort they put into the UK slash Australian version, as well as the beautifulness of the German edition. So I think it's the laziest. And I also just find them a little bit... <laughs> I don't want to say chaotic, but I feel like Morgan is much more prominent front and center with the UK version. And then when you lift the dust jacket, you see the other stuff in the background. So it doesn't take away from the main character being on the front. You know what I mean? Um, Court of Miracles, you have the US version, which is again, by no means ugly. They put a lot more effort into this cover than I've seen on some, some uh, debut YA fantasies. But I own the U UK version for the, of this and not the US version for a reason. <laughs> In addition to being able to go through like Waterstones and Goldsboro to get the sprayed edges. Um, but the gold is foil reflective. It just really does, I think, an amazing job of showing like the there's two very drastically different worlds in this book that the main character has to juggle back and forth between and you can see that in like the goal which is the super royally people and you know the not super royally people in a community in a, in, in a country that had a failed revolution okay um and I 
I, I did talk to people afterwards, after I remember talking about my getting my physical copy, and they didn't do anything to the US version. It's just like that kind of Roman stone wall, a like classics kind of era looking thing, which isn't bad, but they didn't do anything. They didn't put any foiling, they didn't do anything on the under dash jacket, and it's the same price point as me buying the UK version. So you get more elements of it in the UK version than anything that they do. Incendiary by Zoreta Cardova. So the US version I don't hate it by any means and I think um a couple book boxes did um slight variations on this but this is the general you know format I think they just played with the colors on the exclusive editions I don't hate this one but I I don't totally get like I haven't read the book I don't I can't I can't I come away from this and I'm not totally sure sure what this book is about is it a paranormal does someone get possessed or die or fall or fly or but there's fire is you know what what exactly is i i think it's also confusing to me that the, the ratios are a bit off the size of the castle versus the size of the falling person but it they didn't do anything to make it look like the castle's like super far off in the distance in order to justify that difference of ratio which is honestly i don't it, it's something super personal uh, ratios really do bother me on book covers i don't know why i wish i could shut that part of my brain off but it really does bother me when something's like out of like Play. it's it I'll look at that for like 10 minutes and be like there's something wrong something is wrong on this there's something wrong something something is wrong honestly if I saw the incendiary book UK book cover anywhere I would stop and grab it off the bookshelf right away that is beautiful with the pinks and the purple sorry the pink and the red hues and the rose gold elements and the crown floating I get like a very regal royal uh impression from this I'm not quite as confused and the ratios don't look weird to me <laughs> Um, and I also saw a different color of the UK cover. I'm again assuming it was a book box exclusive edition. It was also really beautiful. So I think there's just so much of the UK version that I like. And the whole ratio of my brain is like something's wrong with the cover when I look at the US one. So what do we three and three for three now. So I actually own Lifelike the whole series. Er, yeah, Life Like the Trilogy, um, the US covers, the North American covers, which are, I love them. They're very beautiful. Um, but I can also appreciate the UK covers. I think my issue with why I would give it to the US covers on this one is that the covers um, and the, the titles and the colors of the covers, when I have them on my bookshelf, they very distinctly like don't, they're part of a series. Whereas when I looked at the UK covers a few times, I had to be like, What's the difference other than the color? Oh, is that maybe a different person on the top of the hill? I love them both. And I feel like the roller derby, like dystopian desert thing really does come through on the, um, the UK covers. But I feel like that's only just the setting and the actual like sci-fi-ness and the messed up-ness and everything of, of the book um, is portrayed on the US version. So I think I like the US versions more. The Year of the Witching. Wow, I'm actually surprised how many of these are going to be US. Hmm. Um, so the US version of The Year of the Witching gets the vote for me on this one. However, I will say I, I, I own the US version. However, the under dust jacket is bare bones. The author or the, the story of the author, the publisher of this book was incredibly lazy and cheap on this. I took real issue with this because of how hyped it was. It is also definitely more of a YA book, but it was in the adult market. Um, so they were charging $30, $40 Canadian for this book that they did absolutely nothing on the under dust jacket when someone had literally already made a design of the symbol which is repeatedly used in this book and they put it on the UK cover and they at no point were like why wouldn't we just take that symbol that the UK artist like we have that and put put it in red on the under dust jacket to make it look like it was carved into the book that is I don't have a bit I don't have a background in graphic design and I know that that is not uber difficult and that's just basic common sense that they should have done for this shit as well as to tie into the front of the actual cover the US cover that has the blood droplets on it which just they didn't do anything with the first sister so this is one I like both of them but again I did end up ordering the UK copy for this one partially being because of the sprayed edges had like a shooting star on them but the first sister when I saw the UK version or the US copy I was like wow that's beautiful I have no concept of what genre this is I had to go look it up and be like okay so I guess it's a sci-fi I would have shot fantasy but I'm also like I know they put gold on this and I I would bet my bottom dollar I don't think it's come out yet maybe it has I don't know 
it's not foiled. It's not glittered. It's not matted. It, it, it's, they printed it basic onto a cover and did absolutely shit all with the design of it. I would bet money on that. Um, I, I think <laughs> that's my issue too. I take issue with you, with North American publishers using the colors of gold and silver and then just in general because they never do anything with them they never foil them they never ever do it it's lazy and it never comes out actually looking gold um and then i when i saw the uk cover i was like oh that's a sci-fi that's very clearly a sci-fi it kind of gives me the ebgbs i like the different like the different colors that are somehow mixed in with like the the strip of white in there with the black it just that's something that would stop me on the bookshelf and I would pick it up and take a look at it. Whereas I think I'd just look at the other one on the bookshelf and be like, oh, that's a pretty cover and just kind of keep going. Um, the exact opposite of okay. I don't know if I've done this one on the story before. I detest the US cover of this book, like with a burning passion. That is a zipper vagina. I've also read this book. I also own the UK versions of this in general. Um, the UK versions just, they hired an illustrator and put effort into it. It also came out first. So they then had to like six months after it was so popular in the UK that they were like, okay, we'll publish it in North America. They then took that book and went, let's, let's put a zipper vagina on it instead. Instead of this bright graffitied element with all these elements tied in, they went muted blue with a pink zipper vagina on it. I need to know what the thought process of that was. Because I hate, I hate the U.S. cover of this one with a burning passion. The Space Between Worlds. I actually bought the U.S. version of this. I'm kind of surprised. Whilst I love the U.K. version because there is purple on it, um, the U.S. version is actually what stopped me and me was like, oh, what is this book? And then I saw the U.K. version. I was like, oh, okay, that's okay. Um, and I remember I literally was looking through the editions before I bought the U.S. one and I was like, I'm okay buying the US one of this instead of the UK version in a, in a weird twist of fate rare. Um, I just think the sci-fi time warp elements or whatever comes through very, very strong on the US version. Do I wish they would have used silver and reflected it or metallic it or something? Absolutely. There's nothing on the underdust jacket again, which is like fucking infuriating at this point. But I think the actual cover design is better. I think my issue too with it when I looked at the space between more, the UK version looks a little too similar in my mind to um, to the first sister and I just think the first sister did it better because it has multiple different colors um, showing the person's face whereas the other one it's purple I like purple but other than that I don't think it the cover is much. We have Nixia. I did not realize until very recently that they had a different UK cover. So the US cover, I don't hate it. I own it, but maybe, I don't know if it's maybe because the other one is new and my brain's like, ooh, new was better. But I, I think I like the UK version of this more, even though I do own the US one. Um, I think it does a better job of like, when I read the Nixia series, I hadn't really read the summary when I went into it. I just knew it was kind of a sci-fi. Um, and I didn't quite understand exactly all of like the alien science biology elements of it um, and it being in space. I didn't quite get that from the cover. But when I look, when having now read the book, I think the UK cover comes across more well thought out it gives me the vibe of the actual story um so i'll give it to the uk on this one then we have the left-handed bookseller of london by garth nix um another one that uh i already i have purchased one of these copies and it is not the u.s version i don't hate the u.s version it just doesn't look right like i don't know if it's the colors or like the thickness of the border or that the car the cars look just I don't know there's something very weird about it I don't even know exactly what it is is it supposed to be like what is the framing of that is it supposed to be like looking into a tree like a hole in a tree around that it also it the colors I think that's what's really throwing me is like that burnt orange I associate that with being very old and outdated and it just something I look at that and go yeah and I would have kept walking in a bookstore. That's not something I would stop on the bookshelf for. So those are all the books. I'm actually surprised by how many of these I thought I liked the US cover more of. The UK wins out by a little bit on this one. Sometimes it's just an absolute slaughter. Um, because boy, US publishers are hella lazy on some book covers. Anything by in contemporary in the contemporary realm, especially, I just never ever seem to like that. But I will also kind of point out I've been noticing it, especially in the, the romances that are cutesy rather than those like dramatic historic ones, that we've been 
seeing a shift in North America on publishers hiring illustrators um, to design books, to have those cartoony sort of illustrations that it looks illustrated rather than books that have a stock photo and just like a typed out title. Um, and even something like My Lady Jane, like they have the, you know, the cartoon doodling involved in it at least. I think that's like the, the like my absolute limit of allowing a stock cover that it has to have something illustration-y. It just seems cheap and lazy to me to get a stock photo of something. Um, yeah, I know sometimes they will do specific photo shoots for a cover. I know they did that with the new Kira Cass book. But even again, that is not something that like, I, I look at that and that doesn't just that just doesn't appeal to me. And I feel like you can do, do so much stuff with an illustrate like a just employing illustrators. But I think it just you can do so much when you have uh, an illustrated person a picture of someone wearing sunglasses, you can draw things into the reflection, where you're not going to get that when you, it's not going to come through, it's not going to translate, it's not gonna be included when you just do just do stock photos. You know what I mean? So I am happy that we are seeing that transition. Hopefully it continues. But honestly, I think the UK, they just put, seem to put more effort into them. So I said what I said. Um, <laughs> so I will link all of these books in the description box down below. I will also link all of my social media. If you follow me, I will follow you back. Let me know if you hardcore disagree on any of these or if there's any titles I didn't include in there that you want to bring to my attention that have drastically different covers. Um, and yeah, stay safe, wear a damn mask, uh, Black Lives Matter, uh, stop being an asshole everyone. Anyways, uh, have, a, have a wonderful Tuesday.